Alright guys, in this video we're going to look at the trade or how we're going to play the election tomorrow. So I deposited or I have deposited $44.61 into this account and as you can see the account is negative. I wasn't really supposed to trade this. This was uh, just to sit here until tomorrow so that we can catch the middle of expected that Biden will win. So if Biden wins we're expecting this to jump way up so what I wanted to do I kinda wanted to test the waters a little bit so with my $44 account I jumped in with gold and you can see what happened uh, I jumped in right near the bottom of, but of course the spread caught me down here and it just climbed up so what I'm doing now is I'm just going to wait for the pullback and I'm going to catch this um, possibly if I can hold it until it bounces off this right here just so I can increase the account just a little bit um, I was expecting this candle to slide all the way down here or continue with the down move but it looks like this candle is retracing just a little bit uh, I don't think it'll break this small trend line right here but if it does then what we'll do is we'll just take the $20 hit and then we will maybe jump in on some smaller trades or maybe just deposit another $20 or $30 into the account because what I want the account to do is I want the account to be higher than what it is right here is $44 because we are trading uh, gold alright so with gold in case you guys don't know when you place a trade let's go up here the highest lot size that uh, or I'm sorry the lowest lot size you can trade with is 0 .10 which is $1 per pip so and we're only willing to give up about 20 bucks or so because I want to keep at least 20 bucks in the account um, and we started with $44 and I know that we can make that 20 bucks back fairly easy uh, tomorrow election day tomorrow we are going to be in full effect so I wanted to just kind of make this as an introductory video since I did jump into this trade a little bit early and tomorrow we are looking to trade this bullish so we are looking to go and if let me go back out here so you can see guys we are looking to take this way up here somewhere I mean it could you know and I I'm guessing it may we may get a, um, a small bounce or rejection area um, around this 200 period moving average but and this is kind of moving down a little bit but I mean we're looking to grab this is right here now so we're looking to grab um, I mean we're looking to grab about a hundred pips again this right here should slide down a little bit further before it decides to bounce so we are really working this trade and we are going to uh, see how much we can make off this trade Uh, so that let's go to the account uh, the account history uh, we took a hit of 29 bucks on that trade um, so that yeah gold is not a joke so anyway we took a hit 29 bucks or 30 bucks on that trade uh, we deposited 44 we pretty much took a hit of 29 dollars and now I'm going to go ahead and just do a little bit of small trading and get that uh, get that money back uh, so if you guys notice uh, I flipped over to USD CHF, which is, um, you know, it's it moves kind of like gold, um, or not. It moves um, in relation in relation to gold, I should say. So what we're going to do here, as uh, gold shoots up, this should shoot down. So gold is going to shoot up. So what I'm going to do here, uh, this will this actually allowed me to trade with 50 cents per pip so I won't try to make all the money back in one swoop which is fine and again this is a 15 minute chart not an hourly chart so I won't try to make the money back um, in one uh, trade because that's just that, that will be revenge trading we don't do that so lost $29 uh, on a risky trade which is fine and then what we're we are about to do is um, place a series of trades and make that $30 back very very quickly now all right and you can 
can see I just put another um, 10 cent lot size right here 0 0.01 right here all right so now we're slipping slowly into profit and we're going to wait until this hopefully reaches this area right here which it should we'll watch it and see what it does when it gets to this 100 period moving average here all right but we're slowly creeping into profit and we're in at about 60 cents per pip so we're looking at see if we can grab 15 pips or so on this trade but we'll have to watch it and monitor it and see what it does at this level and at this level and then hopefully gets down to this level and you see how everything's this this moving average 100 and 200 period uh, EMA is slowly starting to roll over just a little bit so we are monitoring that as well and this is a 15 minute chart so we're also looking at the um, the other time frames because you can see here on the 30 minute chart it's right up against this trend line right here As you can see it here it's still flying up right here so it's it's shooting up pretty good um, we got in at 1892 on a sale waiting for a pullback and it just there is no give at the moment so what we did um, we just jumped over here to USDCHF which correlates with gold as gold go up then you'll see this pair USDCHF goes down um, and the reason we jumped to this pair because gold you know this between the spread and the fact that you have to trade a dollar per pip you know it just it takes a toll on your account if you're not trading with the um, with the large enough account so Let's see, gold is dropping, so this will pull back just a little bit. Uh, let's see what's going on here. All right, so this didn't quite make it down to this moving average, but it will. Um, so we'll just put this on the chart so I can monitor it. Looks like it's already kind of. All right, we'll use this point right. Actually, we'll. I don't like using that candle at its own. All right, so we'll we'll see. Okay, we're jumping back up just a little bit. I could have took the dollar and whatever change it was and just waited for it to retrace um, because usually once it breaks, it retraces um, back to this level and then it shoots down again. But if you exit the trade down here, um, sometimes it could just run without you, meaning you the, the move moves down here. You get out thinking you'll be able to get back in once this retraces um, and you're not able to. So you'll get out here and then you'll just be locked out of the trade. But um, good thing is, even if this pulls back right here, I'll still be in slight profit. I can put on another position. Um, that way my position will be even higher. And then I could just catch it all the way even further and I'll have another position on. So that's what we'll shoot for. All right, so today is the next day. Today is 11-3, today is election day. So we placed a few trades and let those trades run. We have a few more open, so we're back to our, well, we're almost back. Uh, and I'll show you the account history here, what happened overnight. So this is the first trade we took at negative 29, and then we placed these small trades. Then overnight, we had these trades uh, play out. You can see these hit the take profit, and we are back to our, or almost back to our original balance and I still have these trades running right here so I'm going to close these out in just a minute I may just let these hit the take profit and then the account will be slightly up more than what we put in there and then I left this trade right here open so we will jump back on in a minute and we will see if we can find a, a entry on a pullback to get in for the election so we are back um, and you can see the account dropped all the way to $29 I'm sorry we took a $29 hit the account didn't drop to 
oh, we took a $29 hit. So I'll show you here on the history. Oh, let's see here. All right, it was a brand new account, deposited $44. We, was going, we were going to catch a pullback on this gold trade before it went higher, just to beef the account up a little bit. And you guys see how that turned out. But after that, we flipped over to USD CHF. We placed a few trades, uh, put a few stop or uh, take profits in um, and held it overnight. And this trade right here being the largest trade, this 50 cent, uh, 0 0.05 50 cent lot size trade here uh, and then we placed a, a few other smaller trades as you can see here uh, this morning and we got the account back up to our deposit amount uh, actually we gained three dollars and 37 cents so after that even though we wanted to beef the account up just a little bit um, we jumped back in on the gold trade um, this time though we because we didn't beef the account up we had to trade of course with the trend um, sometimes you can catch pullbacks within a trend but if you're trading one dollar per pip which you know you can't trade gold at the 0 0.05 or 50 cents uh, lot sizes you have you have to trade gold um, at a minimum of one dollar per pip so we jumped in going with the trend and you see what this candle this is a this is an hourly chart but you see what this candle formed right here um, it formed this tail right here and it opened here so we're looking for this to go up and I want to grab about uh, we'll say want to grab about, about 20 to 30 bucks off of this trade depending on how fast it moves up uh, and I want to see this retest this area right here and possibly stick its head above just a little bit and start making new highs right here. Ooh, hold on. I was going to pause the video. This thing looks like it want to slide on me. Look at that. Jump down to $5, $4, negative. All right, so we'll, um, all right, we'll hold out, see what happens. I'll go ahead and pause it. It's just playing around. So, all right, it's holding that. Um, now, notice that this is the support level it held the support level even this candle is holding the support level so let's see if we can touch the resistance level which I mean this really isn't resistance where I have it at truthfully resistance is this level right here um, but we'll we'll tag along for the ride see how we can catch it all right pause in the video all right we're back we're at about oh uh, ten eleven dollars or so and it is 3 46 p.m. so we'll hold this trade uh, once it hits this uh, resistance line right here <clears throat> we may look at closing it out but yeah now I just jumped to 11 12 so we're trying to get the 20 or 30 but it don't look like we'll uh, reach that level before four o'clock hit market need to open and we just need to make sure the market respects us and give us the profit we deserve all right there we go just popped open and we immediately jumped back up and now it's running so we immediately jumped from 15 to 21 and yeah it looks like all that buying pressure built up people had their hand on the uh, buy button now we're at 22 overall 70 all right, now we're sliding. It's a sell-off. People like me that you know wanted to get out and couldn't, they just hit the sell button. But that's all right. We are going to hold just a little bit more here and see what happens. All right, so there's a very quick jump up, but you see people immediately sold out once that uh, once the market hit. Oh, let me bring this back down so we can see this a little better. But you can see it was very close to this uh, line right here people immediately sold out <laughs> they took the profit uh, we didn't uh, so we'll hold out for the next push up and see if we can get uh, get the next push up here and the next push up so, so we've seen already that this touched this uh, level right here which gave us about twenty two dollars in profit so the market will and it should creep back up to this level and maybe even exceed that level on the next push up and this is it right here didn't realize it would come so quick 
uh, that's a little bit more profit taking from people so this is going to creep up so this is looking real good um, because we're getting closer to the election and it's just going to keep going up until those numbers are uh, are printed so very very volatile um, and it's the next day so I expect this to definitely creep above this area right here so we're at $21 uh, we're back up close to $22 now And that is all we were looking for is 20 bucks um, and there's 21 let's see if it wants to give us the up oh, there's 26 27 there's okay now it's running all right so let's see if it pushes past that oh yep yeah it's gone it's almost hitting 30 all right yep there's 30 bucks all right, let's see. Yep, there's oh, there's there's 40. Oh, oh, this is breaking out. It's running. So we pretty much just doubled the account. All right. All right, there we go. There's 50. Oh, not yet. Yeah, we're breaking out here so let's see it'll be hard to break the 50 level um, so we'll probably check out at 50 all right there's 46 40 okay there's 50 it's gonna be hard to break the 50 level uh, okay just hit took a hit at 50 I just couldn't close it out quick enough um, so let's see if we get a push above 50. Um, all right, here we go again. And all right, yes, yeah, getting stuck at the near that 50 level, which is fine. I mean, we're let's see. Yeah, let's. There we go. Ah, I don't know if I got the 50, but it broke above 50. Now it's running. Probably should have held that a little more, but now the account balance is at uh, 101.05. So that is the. Okay, we grabbed $55 and some change on that trade. And let me see if I can get a pullback. on a pullback here because the market is running yeah I'll grab 55 so 101.05 all right so what I'll do is let me see if I can grab this on a pullback all right so it looks like we're going down here just a little bit um, this is within the first 15 minutes of the market reopening and I'm not going to jump back in I'm gonna just watch the market the next couple of hours and see how it plays out so I'll check back in in a little while yeah let's close that out and uh, so I won't get so let's see that profit is so yeah the profit is 56.44 so we doubled the account all right guys this is it i'm done for the day this is the big election move right here uh this is this will probably be the biggest move that we'll see during this time it's about 7 25 p.m or 7 20 p.m um i'm not really sure i got the news on in the background not really sure what happened but the market it spiked i was in a sale here and it spiked down let's just go over the history real quick uh this right here is the big move right here this 104 so as you can see placed a lot of trades and before that even up in here there's a lot of uh, these two trades um, were two of the larger trades and I started trading the smaller trades I had to close these out because it was moving against me and I couldn't really hold the drawdown so I was going to going to re-enter so I closed this one out um, re-enter one of these and then it went down further so I had to get out um, then as you can see I entered a buy 
because again I am bullish and I entered a buy and it went up so I just kind of played around in the market I was trying to avoid the sales even though I got in on sale here and then we got down here and I took a huge hit uh, because the market was retracing a, a little bit but then as you can see I started um, I noticed that the market was selling off for whatever reason and this is when I started to place only sell trades right here only sell trades and then for this last trade it only gave me hundred and four dollars but I tried to close the trade out at like a hundred and fifty or so but I guess by the time it executed it had pulled back that just that quick and I jumped back in for a buy because the market was retracing um, or going back up and I would have been in profit but um, it was kinda it was going down so I went ahead and closed it out to get a better entry and I did get a better entry but I closed that out as well so see bring this all the way up so you guys can see here so yeah there's only one more trade down here for five dollars and thirty cents uh, it's just another buy so I was entering buys at this point because the market's going back up I could have held on to this right here and it probably would have been profitable but I, I didn't want to risk it since the market's moving kind of fast so it was at uh, profit of uh, the account was at uh, 161 or so, I believe, the highest. Um, but now, as you can see, the profit here is 105.39. Uh, the deposit we deposited the 46 dollars and 61 cents. Um, there's the deposit Bitcoin. So that's it. Thank you guys for sticking with me. And again, remember to uh, make the market respect you and give you the profit that you guys deserve. All right, I'm out. All right, let's go ahead and make this withdrawal. Cause they're not about to hustle me. Come on with it.